Stevie, how proud are you of that Scotland performance tonight? Yeah, it was a good performance. Uh, not surprising to me. So we've got a really good group of players. They want to be successful for the country and they showed that tonight. So yeah, it was good. How big a result is it, Stevie, in, in terms of the, the qualification process? That just means that the next game is another cup final. You have to keep picking up points. Uh, it was an important night for us to get something from the game. We managed to come here, put on a good performance, good footballing performance. When we could, we got the ball down, we passed it well. We're not a long ball team. As some people try to label us, we can play. If we have to go long, we can play and fight for it. If we have to get it down and make the passes, we can make the passes. So I think we, we deserve a little bit more respect. You, you feel you haven't had the respect you deserve? No, no, I'm just talking about people in general. I've, I've seen a couple of times long ball. Like, but, I love my players, I think they're a fantastic group of players. They want to be successful. These games have been the most difficult week. Really difficult. We went to Denmark, it was a tough place to go to start with. A lot of injuries, a lot of problems. We went 2 to, to down early in the game, we dug in. We got, we got criticised for saying that actually. We dug in. Israel went there tonight, lost 5 0. Then, on the back of that, we knew we had to get something out the next two games. We'll come away with six points. If I'd say to you guys at the start of the week, we come out with six points, you'd all have been delighted. So, pleasing night for us. Really pleased for the players. Stevie, you hear that, Rob? Been muted for somebody. Hi, Stevie. How how big a factor um, in tonight and generally is the bond between you and the players? No, no. The main players is we're, we're fine. Don't worry about us. No, no. I'm not worried about you. But I'm saying you know there's, there's there seems to be a you know a really good feeling you know so within. They just the, want to be the, successful. For the, they want to be successful. They, they show that every time they come together. They show that this group yeah. of players have shown that consistently over the last two years that I've, I've been with the group. Over two years now. I think we've come a long way. I think we can get better. I think we will get better. And tonight's a, another step on that road. Can, can you answer the question, Stevie, as to why Scotland weren't playing against 10 men after the awarding of the penalty? No. Nope. Are you as bemused as uh, most everybody else seems no, to be? I'm not really too sure what the rules are, and I'm not going to go moaning about it now. We got the penalty from a VAR decision. We won the game with that penalty. If if somebody says the rules are, are different and the guy should have got sent off, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the double. Je I think double jeopardy was a, was a foul. Maybe should have been a yellow. I'm not sure about the red. I don't know. I don't know the rules. Is it a night, Stevie, on when it's when it's difficult to actually pick out star players because that was a total team performance. Every player, every player outstanding. Uh, Substitutions coming to the pitch, Paul McGinn, Hibbs, Lewis Ferguson, Aberdeen, Kevin Nisbet, Hibbs, Stephen O'Donnell, Motherwell. It's a good sprinkling as well as as well as well all the mainstays and the, the big names. A good sprinkling of players playing in the Scottish Premier League and that, that pleases me immensely. Just one quote, more question for me, Stevie. Was, was that a scary moment um, late on, the, the free header for Bam Gartner uh, from the corner kick? I think with the number of times they got the ball in the box, eventually they were going to get one one good contact on it, and then you need your goalkeeper, and that's why Craig Gordon's still playing at 38, top goalkeeper, made the big save when we needed it, then we got it away, so everybody played the part. Thanks a lot, well done. Cheers, Rob. Hey, Steve, you said that the, the, the team can still get better, but there's no doubt you passed the ball really well tonight, you won the game, of course. Well, where do you think it ranks it in terms of performances in your tenure? Dan, I haven't really thought about it too much. I'm just going to enjoy tonight. You said that the, the, the next game is the cup final. You know, every game now until the end, four many games are cup finals. But do you feel that, that you're now favourites for second place? It's in your hands now. It's up to other people to put that label. We'll just do what we do. We'll turn up, we'll play as well as we can. We'll give everything for the country and we'll try and get more points. How's the atmosphere in the dressing room after that one? Absolutely fantastic. Next question, Raman. A big performance from your uh, front pairing. Is is this a partnership in Chain Linden that is just getting stronger and stronger? 
you've just been caning them for not scoring goals. Over the last little spell, everybody's criticising they don't score goals, but what they do is they work their socks off for the team. Defend for the front, start for the front. Two really good players made us much better in that department of the pitch. I'm delighted to have them on board. They're going to pick up more caps, they're going to get more experience, they're going to get better. And the goals will come. The team seemed really comfortable on the ball, as you mentioned there, Steve. Is that kind of another sign of this team maturing? Hopefully. Hopefully that's what we work on every time we have a camp, we try to get better. Last couple of questions. Yeah, just one last one from me, Steve. Uh, the use of kind of VAR has been criticised since it was introduced, but do you think the application of it tonight shows the value of the system? I never really thought about VR too much either. Obviously, it was a penalty that the referee had missed in open play. It goes back to the camera. We get the decision. Sometimes you get them for you. Sometimes they go against you. Uh, it's, it's just part and parcel of football now. One final question. Anyone? Thanks, Wolves. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.